Can you imagine driving without the constant worry of getting a speeding ticket? In this video, I'll show you how you can with the radar laser system we installed on this Tesla Model S Plaid. Here is the Uniden R9 radar laser system, which is a universal system that we modify to seamlessly integrate into each vehicle we work on. Every vehicle has preliminary testing performed with multiple laser guns, which allows us to determine the best combination of laser jammers and placement. After extensive testing, the setup for the Model S Plaid will defeat all laser guns used by law enforcement. We 3D laser scanned the front of the vehicle to CAD design the mounts for the radar antenna, the GPS antenna, and the bridge box that all of the laser jammers plug into. We also designed laser jammer housings that the jammers mount into to aesthetically blend into the front bumper. The mounts for the front radar antenna, GPS antenna, and bridge box were 3D printed and are attached behind the front bumper. The radar antenna will alert you when there are threats ahead. Here's the finished result of the front laser jammer housings. The rear of the vehicle was also 3D laser scanned so that we could CAD design the laser jammer housings. The housings will replace the rear reflectors for a factory appearance. The new lenses are made from a special material that allows the infrared light that the jammers emit to pass through. The bracket that the jammers mount into was also 3D printed. Here's the finished result of the rear laser jammer housings. The rear radar antenna was CAD designed and 3D printed to properly mount the antenna to the vehicle without any modifications. The rear radar antenna will alert you of radar threats from the rear. On the interior of the vehicle, the Uniden display was CAD designed to mount into the steering wheel shroud with a 3D printed housing. Here's how it turned out. The controller was mounted to the left side of the steering wheel on the lower dash panel. After every install, the system is tested again with multiple laser guns to verify everything is working properly. You can see in these clips the gun is unable to get a speed until the laser jammers are turned off. With this system, the laser jammers are programmed to jam for a certain number of seconds and then they turn off so you get alerted and have a chance to slow down before law enforcement can obtain the speed. In the video clips, we were testing the vehicle with a Dragon Eye laser gun, which is the hardest gun to jam, and as you just saw, it was unable to get the speed with the jammers on. If you have any questions or want to learn more, please give us a phone call or send an email. This is Becky from Automods in Sarasota, Florida. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.